no one was prepared for such a powerful attack. Our family and other residents were terrified. I thought my family and I would die. What was happening was like a nightmare. I managed to save my daughters and my son. I couldn't stand to see the corpse of a mother hugging her burnt child. Nothing was left but the house floor. We are unable to predict such attacks by the enemy. There is nothing to buy. Everything is in ruins. Now we only drink rain water. So many people get sick and suffer from dehydration. Eight days. They've had no supplies yet. This area. Now we're so desperate for food, water and medications. There's no electricity. There's no communication. There was no transport, no internet. It was really just survival. Not even the pandemic caused such damage. We plead with our government to help us as soon as possible. As long as no one is accountable for what is happening, people will continue to die. There's a real war going on. Who is our enemy? It's not the troops. I managed to save my daughters and my son. But the whole house is now destroyed. These are not bombs. Our family and other residents were terrified. During the typhoon, the wind gusts were very strong. These are not rockets. I couldn't stand to see the corpse of a mother hugging her burnt child. It was really sad. Even yesterday, we found a mother holding on to her two children. I can't imagine what they went through when they were trapped and surrounded by the hot ashes. Humanity's real enemy, climate. We are human and we want to live. On May 7th, 2022, the international forum, Global Crisis, We Are People, we Want to Live, organized by volunteers from 180 countries with simultaneous interpreting into 100 languages, will be held on the Creative Society platform. The last war of humanity is already underway. Are you ready to protect human lives and our planet? Become a true hero. Inform everyone you can about this forum.